Preview. Preview. We have information coming out of Austin, Texas. Another explosion. A fourth time now we have an explosion at a uh, in Austin, Texas. This time, this late night explosion in Austin, Texas was caused by a trip wire. It has injured two men. Another explosion rocks Austin, Texas overnight, injuring two people and heightening the concerns for the investigators who believe that the latest blast may have been triggered by a trip wire. Last night's detonation came hours after Austin Police Chief Brian Manley urged the suspect or suspects in the string of bombings to turn themselves in and more than double the reward for the information leading to the arrest. Now the award is $115,000. In an interview this morning on ABC News' Good Morning America, Manley and said that Sunday night's bombing has a little bit of different characteristics from the three previous detonations that killed two people and injured two others. There was a description that we may be dealing with a tripwire uh, on this explosive so that out of an abundance of caution, we've locked the neighborhood down to keep everybody safe. And we're going to go in and at sunup this morning and we're going to begin processing the post-blast scene, mainly told ABC World News Tonight. The Austin Travis County EMS tweeted Sunday night that there was a critical incident at the Don Song Drive-In Austin and medics were on their way to treat two males who were both in their 20s with serious injuries. We do believe, based on what we've seen, that this was a bomb, Manley said at a news conference overnight. And according to St. David's South Austin Medical Center, the two victims were taken there <clears throat> for treatment and are in good condition. Now, we are working on belief that this is related to the other three bombings incidents that have happened in the community of Austin, Texas, and law enforcement Sources told ABC News it will take some time to determine whether the explosion, which was about 8.30 p.m. Sunday evening <clears throat> local time, if it is linked to the earlier bombings. Officials will have to wait until daylight to see if the devices were similarly built. Manley said GMA that the victims in Sunday night's bombings were both white male, while the previous blast victims were black or Hispanic. So to put the race card aside, but still officials say race may be a factor. Um, I think that the, uh, the mainstream, lamestream fake news media needs to get off the race card. I mean, they have been trying so long to create a, a race war in America. You know, we're tired of it. We're tired of them even doing that. We're just tired of it. Instead, let's focus on the crime. Let's focus on the fact that we have a serial bomber in the Austin, Texas area, apparently, and that we're not sure what their motivation is yet other than to bring terror into that community. Now, uh, we're gonna, I've got some possible scenarios running through my mind, but obviously I'm not going to bring them out because it would be just like shooting in the dark, although I have high suspicions of why people would want to do it in Austin. To, and to create the chaos, to create the narrative, to create the confusion that the New World Order has been trying to do for a long time. We're just not sure who the individuals are doing this. Are they ex-military uh, or, or just exactly what would be their understandings of building bombs? And you can never rule out, uh, of course, the terroristic aspect. This is terrorism one way or the other. But let's wait and see exactly what the investigators are able to find and who they may find responsible before we can start guessing at the motives. One thing's for sure, it can't be race when there's been black Americans, Hispanic Americans, and white Americans all either dead or injured from the four separate bombings 
in Austin, Texas. Our prayers go out to these that have just been recently injured in this horrific scene. And we pray for the city of Austin, Texas. We pray for Austin, Texas. Yeah.